Banks are now starting to cut their interest rates. That's why in this video, I'll be sharing where are the best places to park your short-term savings and mid-term savings. As a bonus, I've also created this super detailed spreadsheet calculator which lets you easily calculate where are the best places to park your money based on your own situation. Link down below, yeah? Also, do join my 8,000 members telegram chat group to discuss or ask any questions that you may have. And with that being said, let's jump straight into where are the best places to park your short-term savings if you have a monthly salary. For this, the two best savings accounts would have to be either the UOB1 account or the OCBC360 account. But which is better? The UOB1 accounts would be the better account as their criteria are a lot easier to fulfill. All you need to do is spend a minimum of $500 on eligible UOB cards, credit a minimum salary of $1,600 into the account, and boom, you will straight away earn a 3% interest per annum. And what makes them so good Good is that the salary crediting criteria can also be fulfilled via a pay now salary transfer. So even if you don't have a stable income, you can actually pay now to yourself and still qualify for the salary criteria. Plus, UOB is always coming out with some savings promo. For example, right now, they have a UOB Big Savings Payouts promo, which lets you earn up to $1,000 cash if you deposit fresh funds into the account and keep it there for 4 months. However, this is not to say that the OCBC 360 account is not good, because if you can fulfill their criteria, they will actually give a higher interest as compared to UOB1. Specifically, if you can credit a minimum salary of $1,000 $800 into the account, increase your average daily balance by $500 every month, and spend $500 on eligible OCBC cards, you will earn a 3.85% interest. Then, if you have more than $75,000 savings, that's even better because you will earn an even higher 4.65% interest. As for the rest of the accounts, even though they are giving a lower interest, most of them are actually pretty good in certain situations. For DBS multiplier, even though they give a rather meh 1.8% interest per annum, if you can credit your salary and fulfill one other category, they are very good for couples or families who have joint accounts. That's because DBS will stack up all the criteria fulfilled in the joint account by every member. Then, they will count towards the criteria on all members' DBS multiplier accounts. As for Standard Chartered Bonus Saver, while their interest is not as good as UOB1 or OCBC360, they have a rather attractive sign-up promo, which lets you earn up to $288 when you sign up using my link and fulfill some easy requirements. Similarly, Standard E-Saver account is good for the promotion, which in this case, fresh fund deposits you will earn a 3.45% interest per annum. So if you are hardworking, I guess one strategy is to deposit fresh funds into this account to earn their 3.45% interest, then one month later, transfer out to UOB1 or OCBC360 to earn 3 plus percent interest, then another month later, transfer back into Standard E-Saver to earn the 3.45% interest again. So those are the best accounts to use if you have a monthly salary. However, if you are someone who doesn't have a monthly salary, like a retiree, a freelancer, or a stay-at-home tai tai, you can look at digital banks instead. So if I just set every criteria to zero, Mari Bank would be the winner here, as they are giving a rather high 2.88% interest per annum without needing you to fulfill any requirements. Though, the downside is that this 2.88% interest will only last till 30th June 2024, after which it will drop to 2.5%. When that happens, GSS Bank would be your next best choice, assuming GSS doesn't suddenly reduce their interest rate without warning again. However, if you are someone who has 100k in savings, frequently uses the auntie card, <coughs> I mean the trust card, and is an NTUC member, basically if you are an auntie lah, then Trust Bank would be the better choice, as you can get a slightly higher 3% interest. Quick pause, you might be thinking, What's mortgage refinancing ah? It's basically taking out a new loan from another bank to replace your existing loan. We typically do this to get a lower interest rate as that can lead to significantly lower money payments and save more money. But here's the thing, banks won't tell you when you can refinance because the longer you are on higher interest rates, the better for them. And that's where Property Guru Finance can help. Property Guru Finance is an online mortgage marketplace that helps to simplify every step of your home loan journey. And yes, that includes refinancing. With their innovative Smart Refi feature, you can now check your refinancing eligibility and see your potential savings in under 2 minutes. To use it, you can head over to the Property Guru Finance homepage under the Refinance menu, click Track Your Savings and start Smart Refi. Then, just answer some quick questions about your current mortgage and with that, you now have 
a personalized refinancing proposal. With this proposal, you will now know whether you should refinance now or later, how much you could potentially save by refinancing, and what are the best refinancing home loans based on your unique needs. Property Guru Finance isn't just about online tools. It also has a team of dedicated mortgage experts ready to handle the end-to-end -end home loan refinancing application. So if you decide to proceed with your refinancing, you can just simply click Customize and book a call with one of their mortgage experts. Property Guru Finance has access to the best refinancing rates from 13 major banks in Singapore. Its in-house mortgage experts will help you compare rates and craft a refinancing financing plan tailored to your specific financial goals, whether it's saving money each month or freeing up cash for future plans. So if you are curious about refinancing, you can head over to the Property Guru Finance website to try out Smart Refi and see if it's time to make your home loan work smarter for you. Okay, so far we have only been looking at banks, but if you are okay with taking on a bit of investment risk, you can also look at cash management accounts by brokers and robo advisors. For the highest returns, you can check out Endowers Cash Smart Ultra, Dash Away Simple Plus and UOB AM Cash Plus Extra, all of which are giving around 4.4% to 4.8% return per annum. Them. Though, the downside is that when times are bad, you may experience some losses for a while. That's why if you want to park your money in them, the recommended holding period is one year or more. Otherwise, if you are not okay with the drawdown, the next best option would be to go for money market funds, wire brokers, such as Momo Singapore, Tiger Brokers, and Weibo, all of which are giving around 3.7% 7-day annualized yield. If you do not know, a money market fund is a type of mutual fund that invests in short-term fixed income financial financial products that are highly liquid such as government bonds, cash, cash equivalents and debt-based securities. As a bonus, if you are new to Mumu Singapore, you can also enjoy a much higher 6.8% yield for 30 days. So that's nice. Besides that, Stash Away Simple and Stash Cash Plus Flexi are also giving a similar 3.7 to 3.8% projected yield. Though their underlying is a little different as they have both a money market fund and an enhanced liquidity fund to boost the returns. Oh yeah, if you want to put your SRS money to earn a stable return, Poems, Endowers and Stash Away supports SRS. And if you want to redeem the funds and withdraw your money, it will typically take anywhere between 1 to 5 business days to get back your money. Okay, so far we have only talked about where to park your short term savings. But if you are saving up for your next big ticket expenses like your year-end holiday or your wedding expenses, here are the best places to park your money for the midterm. First up, if you are saving up but if you have no plans to use the money within the next 1 to 10 years, you can check out Singapore Savings Bonds. That's because even though SSB gives the lowest return out of all the methods here, the benefit of SSB is that it lets you lock in a rather high 3.06% average return for 10 years, which is good given that interest rates are about to come down soon. The other benefit of SSB is that it is the only method which lets you redeem and get back your money within one month without any losses. Pro tip, you can check out a website called I Love SSB, which lets you project next month's SSB use and calculate whether you should swap out your old SSB for a new SSB. Next, if you know you need the money within the next 6 months to 1 year, you can check out T-Bills. The latest 6 months T-Bill had a rather attractive 3.75% cut off yield, and data shows that the current 12 months T-Bills have a yield of 3.59%. Personally, I wouldn't invest my cash into T-Bills, as there are other places where I can park my money to earn a similar return without having to lock my money up. But T-Bills are actually good for investing your CPF OA money to earn a higher return. Check out this video here for more info. Next, SGS bonds are quite similar to T-Bills, other than the fact that their tenor is a lot longer. And unlike T-Bills which come out twice a month, SGS are a lot rarer as they only comes out once a month and each of them have very different tenors. Last but not least, we have bank fixed deposits, stash away simple guarantee and safe cash plus guarantee. In terms of you, Scythe Cash Plus Guarantee gives the highest yield of anywhere between 3.5% to 3.8% depending on how long you lock up your money for. However, the downside of Scythe as well as Stash Away's guaranteed portfolios is that they are considered as investments, so they are not SDIC insured. Though, personally, I'm not too worried as the funds are being invested in banks' fixed deposits and they are held separately at a third party. So even if Scythe or Stash Away, Jibamum and Closest Shop, our money, 
is still safe. But of course, if you're uncomfortable with parking your money in robo advisors, your next best choice would be banks' fixed deposits. For this, you can check out a website called sgft.newcities.org, which lets you look for the best FD rates. For example, currently, the best rate is offered by Citibank's Citigo, which is at 3.4% per annum for 3 months. Otherwise, the next best rate is by Bank of China and ICBC at 3.35% for 3 months. So those are the best places where you can park your money now. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully, you found it useful. Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday.